Hey friends, Megan Elizabeth from ByMeganElizabeth.com, founder and creator of the She Makes Club, here to make something really fun. This is a bottle of wine we had left over from our wedding on March 19th, um, and I saved it because it's from Sandals, and I thought we'd use some Martha Stewart glitter to make a beautiful centerpiece or ornamental um, memory type piece with my solo wood flowers. I'm going to be using some Minwax Polycrylic Floor Finish. You could also use Pledge Floor Cleaner, the actual polish uh, cleaner finish. And basically what I'm going to do is just gently coat the inside of the bottle. I'm just using like a medicine squeegee that I had from my kids. I keep it in my craft room. Uh, it does not go back into medicine now, just as a disclaimer. But I'm just squirting some in little bits as I go and just really making sure I'm coating the entire inside of this wine bottle. And again, it's from Sandals, so it's just special. It was a white wine. Um, so it's like a great way, like this was from our from our wedding and our anniversary was just on Monday. So um, I didn't wanna do this video before giving this to my husband as a gift. So now I'm just draining out all of the excess of that Minwax Polycrylic um, finisher and it's just going to keep it moving. Um, I kind of leave it sit for a little bit because it'll puddle a little and then I spin it again. I just want to make sure I really have a very, very um, consistent and smooth coat all the way around. I'll even lay the bottle down um, and let a bunch of it just drip out and then I'll even roll it across the table just to give myself a um, you know, extra co coverage. And then what I'm going to do is dump in some of this Martha Stewart super fine glitter in gold. I love the super fine, ultra fine glitter uh, for this type of project. And you don't need a whole lot, surprisingly. Um, you need a very little bit and it gives you a beautiful coated finish of glitter inside that bottle. And you can see I'm rolling it on the table, again, just to give myself a good uh, full finish all the way through. And then what I'm going to do is start pulling apart and gathering some solo wood flowers and solo wood flower filler, all available. Um, I have a link in the description. Everything that I talk about is in there. So you can check that out in the video descriptions or come over to buymeganelizabeth.com. I always have everything ready for you to shop as well. And what I'm going to do is take my uh, 18 gauge wire and going to use some hot glue to attach it to that flower and then also even attach um, with the hot glue the filler stems or those pretty um, like yellow flowers that you see there and then also um, I also am using some filler leaves as well and I'll just be gluing them either to the stem or directly to the solo wood flower. If you've watched any of my solo wood flower videos in the past you know that I absolutely love these because they are a forever flower and because they're made of wood they act beautifully as a natural diffuser um, so not only can you make them smell absolutely beautifully uh, just by dripping a few drops of your favorite essential oil into them they are going to last forever they're completely dyeable and customizable so if if you're interested in that make sure you come over to the youtube channel and check the solo wood um, flower videos here and also inside she makes dot club that's our crafters community as well where i do some solo wood and special things but i just thought this would be a really really awesome gift what a great way to mark the memory of an anniversary or um, maybe it's your engagement or maybe it's you know I don't know, all kinds of special life moments. Sometimes it's really fun to have, um, maybe it's a bottle of just sparkling cider for bringing in the new year. It doesn't have to be wine, um, but you can do this with pretty much any type of glass container. Um, be able to fill it with that polycrylic or that pledge floor cleaner and just coat the inside, drain out all the excess and and start sprinkling in your favorite glitter that will act like a glue. You're not filling up a whole bottle or a whole ornament with glitter, but you're having it consistently um, be stuck and coated to the inside. And then to be able to decorate on top of it with something as beautiful as solo wood is just awesome. So you can see, I just keep placing things. I keep turning and spinning this. Um, while I do have this video sped up for you, uh, for YouTube and social media purposes, this is only done in two times. So I had this entire project done from start to finish in well under 20 minutes and that's including walking away leaving the bottle sit 
and you can really just see how much that glitter gets in there. It looks like the bottle is filled, but it's not. And here's just a closer look at how beautiful those solo wood flower fillers and those wood flowers look. And you can just see I tied some uh, twine around the bottle and they're just there and beautiful. And it's a perfect anniversary gift. Thanks guys so much for watching today. I hope you'll check more out at uh, buymeganelizabeth.com and join us inside She Makes Club. We love to have you there in our crafters community to tell your story. And as always, if you don't feel like doing that, I would love for you to subscribe and share. And I'll see you again soon at buymeganelizabeth.com. Enjoy the moments.